We're on bellwork question number five. We just did number four for organic molecules, carbohydrates, nucleic acids, and proteins. Number five, team Cho, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, always a part of all of them. There, now we're caught up. Woo! Don't worry, they can pause it. You know the next one? Yeah. What is a monomer? Yes, small molecules, you kind of have to use them to define each other. So a monomer, small molecules that can be connected to make a polymer. Perfectly legible, everyone can read it. Don't worry if you're struggling with the spelling of polymer. The monomer, small molecules, usually they get repeated over and over and over again. Hold on, before you tell me polymer, you remember glucose I just wrote up there? Yeah. Yeah. Glucose is the monomer for making all carbohydrates. It yeah. just gets repeated over and over and over again. Isn't monomer like a cleaner or something? Like, it's like, it's not for your nails. Yeah, it's like a liquid and you dip it and then you put the powder and then you put it on your nails. It's like for nails. You like, should look I feel it like yeah. it's yeah. a And then polymer, isn't that in like your clothes? That's a weird thing to call it. What? Polymer. <laughs> What's a... Isn't that in your clothes? No, that's polyester. Malachi, what's a polymer then? Yes. Polymer, larger molecules, made of repeated monomers. I'm not going to have enough time for the story of this. No. Can you tell us after you do the bell work? No, we got to finish the notes first. The notes. We got to eat our vegetables before we can have our dessert. Why don't we just tell them how we write down this? Because half of you still want to eat a bite. I've already listened Large molecules are repeated monomers. That is a polymer. Even though we say that a monomer is a small molecule, when we're talking about organic molecules, both monomers and polymers are what we consider to be macromolecules which means they are large molecules. Yes, definitely an L, meant to be an L the whole time. Yeah. Molecules, yeah. macromolecules. So if you hear a teacher blah, blah, blah about macromolecules next year in bio, you should know we're talking about these four organic molecules, okay? Remember, it's organic. It's organic because it's got Team Cho in it that I erased on it. You guys with me here? Yes. Now, you have to be careful though, because just because it's made out of team Cho does not necessarily mean it's organic. It has to also be made out of made by or for as a part of a living thing. You guys see? You guys see what I'm saying here? Yes. Made by, for, as a part of a living thing, then it's organic. Otherwise, it could be inorganic. We do have inorganic molecules made out of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Don't worry about those. They're mostly rocks. All right. You guys ready to finish your notes? Yeah. Hey, look. The slide of monomers and polymers. Whoa, that's awesome. Remember, you saw me on Friday build the bridge by connecting many monomers together. And I could take a polymer apart and separate it back into its monomers. Yeah. Your body does this all the time using special molecules. Let's start with the letter E. Yeah. Using yeah. enzymes, very good. We will be talking. We will be talking about enzymes a little bit later this unit, but not yet. All right, are you ready to finish the notes? Yes. It should say at the top of your page, important polymers. All right. We're going to do these 
momentarily in this order. The first one is, of course, my favorite of the organic molecules. What's my favorite polymer? Lithium. Not lipids. Lipids. Not lipids. Not lipids. Lithium. Hy carbon hydrate. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are a sugar. Polymer. Polymer. Oh, a polymer. Wait, what? Carbohydrates are a polymer made out of many blank monomers. Third page at the top. Right where it says important polymers. First, thanks. First big blank carbohydrates. Listen, I'm reading the sentence to you. Carbohydrates are a polymer, no S, made out of many blank monomers. Sugars. Made out of many sugar monomers. Many sugar. So again, the very first sentence on that page should read carbohydrates are a polymer made out of many sugar monomers. Everybody got that? No. Carbohydrates are a polymer made out of many sugar monomers. The next one is going to be my third favorite molecule. Not lipids. No, um, proteins. Proteins. Proteins are next. Next big, next big square. Proteins are a polymer. Made out of many blank acid blanks. Lipids, nucleic. Tell me the no, don't know. Tell me the very last blank. So we have proteins are a polymer made of blank acid blanks. Monomers. Monomers. They're not nucleic acids. They're actually called amino acids. Amino. Amino. As in, they're not very nice. It's amino acids. Amino. Yes. No, you're good. Monomers goes there. You're good. So again, I will read you the sentence. Proteins are a polymer made out of many amino acid monomers. You see in the picture, you connect a bunch of sugars together. Guess what you have? Guess what happens if you connect a bunch of sugars together? What do you have? Sugar. Carbohydrate. You have a carbohydrate. Now, if there's only a few sugars, it usually we just call it sugar. You take one sugar by itself, you could have glucose. Two of them together, you have sucrose, table sugar. There's also one that's just one sugar called fructose, which is the plant sugar, right? High fructose corn syrup, you've heard of that. If you take several hundred sugars and combine them, they no longer taste sweet. They get really sticky. We call them starch. Weird, right? Yeah. You take a bunch of things that are sweet, you put them together, you'd think it'd be sweeter, wouldn't it? No, it's not. But it's not, okay. not at all. Sugar. Because science is weird. So cornstarch is made out of thousands and thousands of sugars all connected together. That's what we're talking about when we say monomers get put together to make a big old polymer. I'm not talking like here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, no, thousands, millions. Very, very big. One sugar? Like what is it? Like I know it's one sugar, but like what is one sugar? There's a few. How about this? How about this one sugar? That's same It's like the singular. The glucose. That's one sugar. Oh, and then so, so okay, what does it look like? Like does it actually look like container? Like obviously you can't see it's actually so small, but like it would be big enough to see it. Like it's like an like what would it like? Let's see if I can still do it. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh crap, there's those in here. Oh, yeah. uh, 
I can't draw. Missed, I can't draw it anymore. Wait, like about that's what like it looks like. Yeah. You see, see. And, and O's. No, I'm, like, I'm asking now what it looks like. Like what it looks like. It looks like a little. Okay, when you look at a telescope, whatever. Telescope. <laughs> 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 what I mean, Tom, it's like. Hold on, hold on. What if we want to ask a question? What do we do? Ah, Haley. Can we look at a telescope one night? Do a telescope for that? For that? Go to astronomy club. We will. We will. You want to look through a telescope, you got to go to the astronomy club. We will look through microscopes this year. However, our microscopes are not powerful enough to see molecules. We can see cells with our microscopes. For this, you need a multi million dollar machine. Can we prick your finger and look at our blood? No. How big is this cell? How big? No, I just want to see what it looks like. How do you ask questions? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Lily. <laughs> How big is this cell? I'm sorry, I'm laughing. I'm sorry. It depends on the type of the cell. Your red blood cells are like, about no, I mean like that, like seven micrometers. How big is hydrogen? Like, 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 like a I don't know. Grain of Two sand. angstroms. A grain of sand is something you can see with your eyes. So no, I mean like how That's like, like a thousand million trillion times bigger. Like, All right. No. You guys ready That's to continue the like notes? The yes. yes. Okay. I get it. All right. You see how this works? Does this sort of make sense? Yeah. Mostly instead of instead of so I could every time I say sugar, you could insert this. Or or normally we just draw hexagons because glucose is shaped like a hexagon. So you got a hexagon bonded to another hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, bonded to another hexagon. You see what I'm saying? Beautiful. Thousands of that. I'm not drawing thousands of them. Thousands of that would make a starch. All right. Amino acids look heckin' crazy. I'm drawing none of them for you. Wow. No. Just one. Just one. I will draw the easiest one. No. There's one amino acid. Yes, it kind of spells nacho. Remember, this is the amino group. This is an acid group, amino acid. Whatever goes here and or here determines the type of amino acid. There are 20 of them. You will also learn those this year. How exciting. All 20. <laughs> Next blanks. Next blanks. Question. Oh, Lily. Very nice. Nucleic acids are a. Nucleic acids are a. Are a are a polymer. Are a polymer. Made out of many nucleic nucleotides. Yeah, made out of many nucleotide monomers. So again, the third big box there should say nucleic acids are a polymer made out of many nucleotide monomers. Nucleic. Wait, you say that? Nucleic acids are a polymer made out of many nucleotide monomers. Are you seeing the pattern here? Blank is a polymer made out of many blank monomers. Nucleic acids are a polymer made out of many nucleotide monomers. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, no. 
What's the what organic molecule is missing? Oh, also, here's a picture. Which organic molecule is missing? Proteins. proteins. Very good. No, proteins are we have there. proteins right here, though. Lipids. Give me another one. What? Lipids. Oh, lipids. Yes, lipids, my second favorite. Lipids. They're a little more complex. complex. Lipids get kind of weird. But more or less. There you go. Lipids are a little more complex, but generally they're composed of a, what we call fatty acids. So at the bottom, it's um, one or more fatty acids. One or more fatty acids. One fatty acid would be a lipid, in the same way that one sugar would also be a carb. But many, for example, your body, the way that we make fat is called a triglyceride has three fatty acids. Are you? That's these right here. Large store of triglycerides. Three fatty acids per lipid molecule. Malachi. When I was young, I was... Oh, my dog bit my face. Oh, fun. Some, some... Some hexagon shape fell out of my forehead. Okay, we want to hear his story. I'm sorry. I'd rather hear this story. It's probably just a big chunk of skin. Okay. But it was thick. <laughs> yeah. Hexagon yeah. shaped coming out of my forehead. It, it was not blue. I think it was not blue. Oh, I know this was not blue. Okay. I was very confused. How big was the dog? She's crying. It's not that. That makes sense. Is it a no, All right, we got. Listen, listen. We got to, we got to, we got to turn it up here. We got to finish the next half. Of this we got to do it in five minutes. Ready? All right, here we go. Get ready, because you got to write a lot of big words here. You ready? All right, good. Now, synthesis is the next blank. We're gonna talk about building and breaking. First, building. Synthesis is building, is building blanker molecules. Like photosynthesis. Yes, like photosynthesis is building bigger. Bigger molecules. What's our word for a bigger molecule? Large Made out of a bunch of stuff. Polymer. Polymer. Synthesis is building bigger molecules. That's polymers from blanker molecules that are called blanks. That's supposed to be smaller polymer molecules. right here. Smaller molecules called Yes. Mon Mon Synthesis is building Mon bigger molecules, parentheses, polymers. It's not that funny. Bigger. Bigger, bigger. Bigger, bigger. From smaller molecules, and it's the M word. Monomers. Yes, monomers. Now, who would like to get Lily's points? Oh, take them. Emma, take them. Monomers. Yes, very good. Monomers. Blue. Synthesis is building bigger molecules. Those are called polymers. From smaller molecules, those smaller molecules are called monomers. Now, what's unique about the process of photosynthesis is they're actually building a small monomer. Hold on, I'm confused. So do I say it's building bigger molecules? Okay. Yep. There, there are three reasons why you would want to do this. Maybe there's been some damage that needs to be repaired. Maybe oh, you're growing boys and girls, which you are. I haven't grown. Do we put that the cells in the body? No. Wait. These are reasons why you're body would be building more cells. Maybe you need to repair some damage. Maybe you need to grow. Maybe not you, not anytime soon, but maybe future you. Many years from now, when you're in a mature, committed adult relationship with a willing partner and you both have decided to accept the burden of parenthood, then maybe, okay. just maybe, you could also make some of these for reproduction. Not now. Not now, not tomorrow, not anytime soon, later. 
Much later. You sound like no, that scared me. Later. Later. Oh, later. Later. How much later? A Heck a lot time. later. Remember, what years. substance is required by your cells to do this building? There's three letters. Show. R. C6, H12. Oh, wait, that's good. It's ATP. Uh, ATP is required. ATP is required to make, to make larger polymers. polymers. <laughs> ATP is required to make larger polymers. You can say synthesize larger molecules. You just said make, you you said make, make or build, you're fine. Final blanks, are you ready? Here we go. No one's leaving until we're done. So shut your face holes and let's write. The alphabet of synthesis is digestion. What the heck? Don't worry about it. The opposite of synthesis is digestion. Next big square. What? Also known as. Also known as. Also known as. Decomposition. What? 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 I thought it would have been. Just write it down. Also known as decomposition. You ready? Don't even think about packing up. Also known as decomposition. You guys got it? Yeah. That's breaking where you're breaking what? Down. Breaking down what kind of molecules? Big. Bigger, mole bigger molecules. Materials are. Ignore all that. Oh, Quick, right. Bring down bigger yeah. molecules. Raw, raw, raw materials, materials, materials are released. Materials. Those raw materials could be used for synthesis or, or even for growth. For what? For synthesis oh, or even for growth. ATP. ATP is released. Guess what that ATP could use be used for? Molecules. Polymer. Energy. For synthesis or growth or everyday functions, like thinking about synthesis and growth and writing and moving your arms and muscles. Woo! We made it. Look at this pretty picture. Wait, wait, look. Here is a polymer getting broken down. See what I'm saying? ATP is needed. Sorry, no stories today. Maybe.